Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a, a map view project. Uh, essentially we'll be creating a, a map uh, that we can load up on our users iPhones and then they can go in, change the type of map they're looking at and uh, also, uh, which is pretty cool, they can also uh, zoom in on their current location. Um, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we're going to create our uh, project in depth. Uh, so we're just going to call it uh, map view. Okay, I'll just go in. It's going to update this to a more appropriate titles. I'm just going to call it home. Okay, and um, I'll also get you guys to uh, add in one more page. Uh, we just need to do this because later on uh, we will be creating a button and we need that button to uh, point to another page so that uh, DAP will create the code for us. Okay, so uh, time to add in the, our objects. So just go to view mode, uh, double tap, uh, new object. And the first thing we want to do is add in a navigation bar. I'll just put that up the top. Uh, next thing is we will need some controls uh, so that the users can uh, switch between um, different types of map view. So uh, to do that, we will just be adding in a toolbar. Just drag that down the bottom. Um, and we only need one button on this toolbar because we're just going to use it for uh, the uh, the search button that the user uses, uses to uh, zoom in on their current location. So uh, just need to delete the current items on the toolbar. So just drag across, if you can go across, uh, tap on delete, uh, tap on the edit button, and we want to add in a new system item. I'm just going to scroll down. We're just going to add in the, uh, the search item. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. Uh, it gives us a nice little uh, magnifying glass, which is a good icon for uh, users to uh, get the current location. So we're just going to add in a segmented control. Uh, we need to do this so that uh, users can switch between the different map views. So I'm just going to fix that up. Just drag it on top of your toolbar. And let's just stretch it over so it just fits in, looks a bit nicer. A bit more. Cool. Um, now, we need three segments, so just double tap on it, uh, tap on edit object, and tap on style. We are going to change it to bar style, it looks a, a lot better. Uh, now, if you tap on the segments, uh, in here we can actually uh, add in the different types of, uh, of maps the user can switch between. So, we'll edit segment one first. The first type of Google uh, map view is standard. Uh, next one is satellite, and finally, uh, just tap on edit, uh, tap on add new item, and just add in hybrid. Okay, cool. Uh, standard satellite hybrid, awesome. If we go back, back to our view mode, you'll see now that we've got uh, three options for the user. Now, um, I'm a little bit picky, so just double tap on this. We're just going to move it down uh, one pixel. Uh, we're just doing it this way because. Um, it's just easier. Great, all right, so that's looking much nicer. So double tap again, uh, tap on new object and scroll down to map view. Now, uh, in the code, we are going to be um, uh, working with the map view. So we want a slightly better name to use than map view one. So we're just gonna call it map view. And just tap on done. Okay, awesome, and there's our map view. So I'm just gonna Drag it underneath the navigation bar and scroll down. Voila. Cool. Um, and it's nearly it. Just one final thing. Uh, double tap, uh, go to done. And we're just going to just tap done there again. We're just going to select our, um, our toolbar and we will go to uh, the items uh, property. Uh, go in there for our item search. Uh, icon. Uh, we're going to add an action to this. Uh, this way DAP will create um, some code that we can then directly go in and edit, which will save us a bit of time later on. So tap on this uh, blue icon here, and this is why we needed that second page. So just uh, select it and go done. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll show you what this looks like. So we'll just go back, uh, just tap on live preview, and you'll see here it is our uh, map view and the users can drag wherever they want. Uh, they can also use two fingers to zoom in and zoom out. Um, 
We haven't hooked these up yet, but uh, we will hook these up in code and these will allow the user to change to different types of map views. And of course, um, this search button down here uh, will, or icon, will uh, zoom in on their current location. Okay, we're done. Tap on project options and we want to convert views into code. Okay, there we go. And just send. Cool. All right, uh, when you send that, uh, it will be sent, of course, sent to your email. Uh, from there, you'll want to grab that zip file, unzip it, and start up Xcode. So I'm just going to quit out of the simulator now, and we're just going to hide that. I'm just going to add, start up a new uh, Xcode project. So file, new, new project, and we want an empty application project. Next, we want to call it map view. Uh, next and create, it's fine. Okay, that's it. We've got our new map view project. Uh, first thing is with any uh, project we're creating for DAP, is just delete the app delegate and main.m files. Uh, let's get rid of those. Okay, uh, next step is to grab the files that DAP sent to us. Um, I'll show them, them here. So uh, these are the files that got exported. So we just need to select all of them. Of course, we don't want the zip file. And we're just going to drag these uh, into our folder here. And yes, we want to copy items into destinations groups folder. Finish. Great. Cool. Um, all right. So let's have a look at the code. Uh, first of all, a little bit of cleanup. Um, we don't need these files either. I'll just delete those. Um, that's the extra page we the dummy page that we created. So we want to. I get rid of any references to it. So you'll see here, I'm just doing this. Um, on your side, you might uh, want to choose in future to not create the dummy page uh, simply because, well, let me put that another way. Uh, when you do add this into your own apps, you're probably going to have uh, multiple pages anyway. So uh, when you create your actions, you can uh, select your object or button and just point it to, to any page. So you won't actually have to do this. Uh, but let me just do this now. So let's give um, that reference. And if we go into that, I think that's all of it. Cool. Uh, now the first step is we to use the map view. Uh, you'll see here that we also need to add the map kit framework to the project. Uh, so to add that in, just select your project up here. Um, select uh, so targets, map view, uh, tap on build phases, uh, link binary with libraries, and then just tap on the little plus icon there. And just type in um, what was it? Was it was map kit? That's the one. Uh, map kit dot framework. Select it and just click on add. All right. Now this is um, now part of our project, which means we can now use uh, the map kit, uh, which is used for Google Maps. Uh, now we want to keep it neat, so just open up your frameworks folder here and just drag the map kit down with all the rest of them. Okay, um, now the fun part, we're going to um, start updating some code. Okay, so let's go in. Uh, this is the view that DAP created for us. Let's just go in there, scroll down. Uh, okay, you'll see down here, uh, this is where DAP created our, <coughs> our method that loads up our map view. Now. Uh, we want to access this object from elsewhere uh, in this implementation file. So to do that, we need to make this uh, a public, basically a public object that we can access anywhere in the class. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to just cut that out and I'm just going to type in map view in there. Okay, and I'm just going to switch to the header file. And in the header file, I'm just going to paste that in. So in the header file, you should have something that says MK map view, uh, asterisk, uh, Oops, asterisk uh, map view. Okay, um, that's done there. Let's just go back to the implementation file. And now that we've made it as a public object, we don't need our release call there. Instead, we'll add that to our dalloc method. So it's map view release. That's just um, to make sure we clean up uh, memory. Okay, uh, next step is this is our segmented control here. Okay, now we need to be able to uh, respond to when that uh, segment control changes. Okay, to do that, uh, we need to add in a basically we're adding in a target and action for the segment control. So just um, go to this line here, tap on the return key, 
I'm just going to add in a new line of code. Uh, it'll be segmented control one, uh, add target. I'm just going to type in self uh, action. Bit lame. I don't have my um, auto code drop down thingy working at the moment. All good. Just hope I <laughs> enter this incorrectly. And then uh, the method we're going to call uh, when the user changes or oh, when you know does something on segmented control is segmented control action. Just fix that there. Okay. And I'm just going to put a uh, colon there. Okay, colon. And then for control events, UI control event value changed. Whew, okay, hopefully I wrote that all correctly. So I'm just going to save that. I'm just going to do a quick build, just make sure there's no problems. I have a feeling uh, there will be a problem here or there. I'll just fix that quickly. So, yep, just a few more references to uh, our untitled page. So, um, I'll show you how to do this, best if I do show you. So go to your header file of your, no, not header file. <laughs> go to your implementation file of your home view controller. Find the toolbar one action one method. And you just want to get rid of that because we don't need it. And okay, let's try building again. I think there's one more issue. And yeah, in our home view header file, you'll see that. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. The problem here is that uh, we are creating an object of type MK map view, but the header file here doesn't know what MK map view is. Uh, to correct that, you just want to go to the implementation file here and just scroll up and just want to copy over uh, the mapkit.framework and I'll just cut that out, save that, uh, go to your header, just paste that in up here. Okay, now this time it should run correctly. And no, it oh, no, it does. Awesome. Okay, so let's go back to our home view implementation file and just scroll down. Uh, so we're back in our. Let me just drag this up. Uh, back in our segment control one, we've created a target that will um, call this method. So now it's, we have to add that method in. So let's just create a new a new section, and we'll call it. Just, I like doing these pragma marks, just makes everything nice and nice and neat. Definitely weird. Basically, this is the uh, the method we've created. Uh, this is what we are passing over. This is where we do a cast, so it becomes a segment of control object again. Um, and then we're switching depending on what selected segment index is selected. And then in each case, we're changing the map view. So the first case, uh, standard satellite hybrid. Okay, and go to load toolbar one method, uh, go to this line here, uh, toolbar items add object, go over to uh, the target section, double click on that and just change it to self and then select it will be yes, toolbar one action one. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, we'll create this now within this class here. So I'm just going to just copy that there. Okay, I just want to scroll down to the bottom and create the method void because we're not returning anything and it's called toolbar one action one okay and what we are doing is changing the well, sorry we're updating the map view to show the user's current location so type in map view then dot shows user location equals yes okay um i think that's pretty much it so just save that i'm just going to run a build make sure it all works so build all right it's all working awesome now it's time to test it. So we're just going to run it in the simulator. Uh, tap on the run, click on the run button up here. Let's see, hopefully this works. Okay, so we've got our map. It's a good start. We can drag it. Great. We can zoom in and zoom out. And we should be able to switch between map views by tapping on each of these. So satellite. Great. There you go. And we also go into hybrid view. Cool. Uh, that's it. And oh, uh, this button here, as you'll see, it is working, but in the simulator, uh, it can't get the the load GPS coordinates. So uh, it's not actually going to work here. But when you do put it on, uh, test it on your device or put it on your end users' devices, it will work. Uh, that's it.